Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, how are you all doing? My name is Echo and welcome back to this week's Minecraft Q&A episode. And actually guys, we really don't have that much information from the developers, from Microsoft, from Minecraft. We're pretty much at this point now where we're waiting for the update aquatic to be fully released so then we can kind of go forward and find out what the next update is going to be. Now if you guys are new to my channel, Thank you so much for subscribing. We recently passed 900,000 subscribers. You guys are awesome. We're definitely on the road to 1 million. Now this series is where I take the time to answer your questions about absolutely everything Minecraft that have been left in the comment section below. Questions about updates, changes, features, and much more. Now the only little bit of information I do have for you is coming from Tommaso Cecchi a couple of weeks ago. He is a well-known Minecraft Pocket Edition developer, and he tweeted this saying, that feel when you change 298 files and it runs the first time. Now what could this be? Hopefully it's something linked to Minecraft, and hopefully it's linked to something in the future of Minecraft. And to be honest with you guys, you know what I miss? I miss the days when people like Tommaso and Don Geek and all like Shogi and stuff used to give us weekly previews of what we can expect in the future of Minecraft. We really don't get that many teasers anymore, which is kind of sad. So hopefully things like that does change in the future. So getting into last week's poll, always answer the poll above me. I said to you guys, what do you play on? Xbox, PS4, PC, or your handheld device, the mobile device? 60% of you are using the handheld devices. Only 14%, including myself, play Xbox, mostly. 7% play PS4, 18% play PC. So I was quite surprised, but I kind of knew that the majority of you guys were using handheld device because it's probably the most popular one that everybody can afford. So the first question we have today says, Q&A, the developers told us that fishers will be attracted to fishing hooks, but we are not, but they are not provided yet. Unfortunately, this feature got scrapped from development, which I'm kind of sad because Fishing in Minecraft now really isn't used for fishing, if that makes sense. You don't really need to fish for fish because in the oceans, you can see salmon, you can see the cod, and you can see pretty much every single fish. So why would you waste your time fishing when you could just swim around a little bit and kill lots of salmon? So I definitely feel in the future they need to change fishing. Fishing now is literally only used for treasure enchantments, like getting enchanted books or a saddle or I don't know what else you get fish wire, uh, trip wire hooks, and a couple other things. So, unfortunately, that feature was scrapped with a couple others, such as the coral slabs and the way the water was meant to originally work. Anyway, the next question here from X says, Q&A, when will more commands be added to Minecraft? For example, the forward slash particle command, there are good amount of commands missing from Bedrock version. And also, you are more limited with these ones given to you, like you are not able to put blocks or items on mobs, mainly armor stands. This was mostly used for creating custom furniture and really cool stuff. When will that all come back to us? Now don't get me wrong, I'm pretty sure forward slash particle was removed. This was available in a beta a long time ago, and the forward slash particle command caused every single version of Minecraft to crash. I messed around with it, it was pretty dangerous, and the developer said, okay, we are getting rid of this until we can fix this problem. But I do agree with you, command blocks and structure blocks, which is basically still a command block, they are really limited in Minecraft Bedrock. They still don't have their full potential. And exactly like you explained, we don't have the ability to put items on mobs or even armor stands. So I do expect more commands to be introduced in the future. A lot of these commands are also really useful for the server developers as well for mini games and stuff like that. I know the Hive MC, they are coming to Bedrock very, very soon, and they have kind of like a custom block game, which is exactly what they need to do this, these commands. So I do expect more commands to be introduced as of when, I couldn't tell you guys. Hopefully, once the update aquatic is fully released, they can start to introduce some of the missing features. Guys, we still don't have custom flats. We still don't have custom super flats on Pocket Edition. That is insane. We don't have amplified terrains. And that was confirmed for the Xbox users, which still has not happened. So there's a lot of things missing from the game, but great question. It was actually asked a couple of times. 
The next one from Thanos says, seeing Bedrock have over 50 exclusive features, add-ons, cross-play cap capability, etc. Do you think Bedrock will ever surpass Java? This is my favorite question in today's video. And this is where I'm gonna explain this to you from a business perspective. Okay, so Jeb, sorry, yeah, no. Yeah, Jeb, Notch, and Mojang probably made millions and millions of dollars from Minecraft PC alone. Now, Microsoft bought Minecraft after all those sales had happened. Yeah, PC still makes money, but the majority of the money from Microsoft's perspective is on Xbox, is on Switch, is on Windows 10, and is on the mobile device. Now, you have to understand, Microsoft are a business. They spent $2.5 billion on this game. They are gonna have to make money somewhere. And although to me this is kind of sad because I do class the PC version as the superior version, I feel like Microsoft are pushing it to make these other versions of Minecraft better. They're kind of giving Java less features. For example, Minecraft um, Bedrock has the marketplace where they're pushing a lot of content there. Uh, the super duper graphics pack and stuff like that. So I do eventually think that's the direction Microsoft want to go. They want to make Bedrock better than Java. I mean, Bedrock version already has more sales than Java. So you can kind of see it happening, which I really don't like that, but I understand why they're doing it because they are a company. They got to make money. They spend $2.5 billion on the game. But I love that question. But yeah, over 50 exclusive features, which is pretty crazy. The next one from Forge Logical says, do you think we will ever get more golems like gold, emerald, or diamond? The snow golem is pretty much useless other than snow farms and iron golems. Only fight mobs. Pretty boring after a while. You got it wrong, actually, because snow golems are actually really good for fighting the ender dragon because snow golems will attack endermen, meaning endermen won't get triggered on you. You should try it. It's pretty good. But I don't think we're going to get the introduction of another golem. I definitely feel that like they could rework the Iron Golem, though. Um, they're just going to leave mod modders to do the gold, emerald, and stuff like that. There's tons and tons of mods out there, and even add-ons, where you can have different styled golems. But the Iron Golem... You know what, guys? This is where someone said to me, Echo, what do you think about a mobs update? I would definitely love to see a mobs update. Dedicated mobs update to mobs that we have in the game, and mobs that we're going to be getting, where they can fully change them. For example, the squid. They didn't change the squid in the update aquatic and I'm really sad that they didn't because squids in real life are dangerous. But good question, but I don't think they're gonna introduce any more golems. The next one says, will they ever have torches so there is light when you hold the torch? This is at, this was actually talked about when the cave update was at, like kind of discussed during Minecon last year. Um, they said the only reason they didn't do this is because they kind of classed it as OP. Just having one torch and then taking all the ores and getting out of there. But I don't think Mojang have realized that if you don't place torches when you go deep down in a cave, you can get lost, which is also really dangerous. So for me, I would love to see this feature. We really don't have any news on this. Um, and in the shaders pack that I'm using right now, this is a feature. You can hold the torch in a cave and it lights up. I think it's a great feature. I hope this is something that they would definitely consider if they were to introduce a cave update. But great question, thank you very much. The next one from Only Me MC. Do you think that mods are going to be introduced to MCP? If yes, when do you think they're going to be added? So I did talk about this before. We're currently in stage two, one, two of mods. The first stage was community-based and that was block launcher. The second stage is the current stage that we are in. We are in add-on stage. Add-ons are mods, modifications, but they're not modifications to their full potential. They're not mods the way PC have mods. That is coming. That is something that the developers are working on. I have talked to the developers. They are working on a new API system and this is taking a lot of time. They got quite far with the project, scrapped it and had to start again. And I believe the new API has only been in development for a couple of months now, not that long. I don't expect to see it until next year which is kind of okay with me because it means that we can look forward to something next year. This could also be the same reason why the Super Duper Graphics Pack was delayed even more. The next one we have here from uh, Gamer Vivek, Vivek, anyway, that's your name. Q&A Echo, 
Is there ever going to be any new mini games for PS3? Or are they totally going to abandon it? This is a sad comment. I hate, I hate answering this question. They're getting rid of it. They're never going to introduce any new mini games to Minecraft console edition. Ever, 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 ever. Unfortunately, they're just not going to do it. The way I see it is the mini games didn't earn Microsoft enough money for them to keep going with it, which sucks because I love the mini games. I loved the uh, survival games. I loved the Elytra race. They were fun. Didn't really enjoy Spleef that much. There was talks about uh, build battle. That, that, that never happened. That's never going to happen. So yeah, unfortunately, we're never going to get any mini games, which sucks because 4J did such a fantastic job. There has been rumors, though, that those mini games might be coming to the Bedrock version, which I fully support because they are fantastic. But sadly not, dude. Sorry to tell you that. The next one from Angelcraft Q&A. I know you, I know you what you said about custom skins on Xbox, but how about on Switch? My idea is we could transfer skins from PE slash Windows 10 to Switch through our Xbox Live account. That's not possible because I actually thought that was the way it was going to work on Windows 10 to Xbox, Xbox to your mobile device. Unfortunately, it's not linked to your mobile device. It's linked to the game itself. So if you're using a skin on Windows 10, it's not going to be the same skin on Xbox. I believe you can do custom skins, add-ons and textures on Switch, but you need to homebrew your device, which is quite dangerous to do. And I don't recommend it. It sucks that we don't have custom skins on Xbox and Switch. I really don't know what um, Nintendo's terms of use is in terms of like having custom things, but I know Xbox are incre incredibly strict, which is why we still still don't have this, and it's, which is why we never had this back in uh, 360 or PlayStation uh, 3 or Xbox One. They just, it's really restricted. Until they find a way, I don't think Switch will have custom skins either. Uh, the last question in today's video from Lightpads says Q&A, I would like to have some hostile aquatic mob. It would be so cool. Maybe some sort of a fish, not like a human. We have the drowned, but it's a variation of the zombie, which is kind of annoying. You know what, light pads? What a fantastic question. I fully agree with you. I fully back up your comment there. The drowned is another variation of a zombie. Whether the developers say it's not, it is. It is just another retextured zombie doing different things. It's a waste of what I thought was going to be in the oceans. When they told us we were getting an updated aquatic with a hostile mob, I thought, ooh, like a fish type. Something mythical, something scary, something really fast in the water, which you need to defend yourself. Nope, we just got another zombie. How fantastic. So I hope in the future we do get a new variation of hostile mobs. One of them's got to be like a fish type in the ocean because I was so disappointed. I love the update aquatic. One of my favorite updates. Don't like the phantom and do not like the drowned. Apart from that, everything else I enjoy. But thank you so much for the questions. Like I explained to you guys, unfortunately, we don't have much news going around at this moment. Usually I start these videos with a little bit of information that the developers have shared. We have nothing. We are waiting for the update aquatic to fully release. And as of me making this video right now in this chair, we have no news and information. Anyway, have a great day. Any more questions, any more queries, leave them down below. Have a great day, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.